All right, here I am at the 4th Street Railroad Crossing in Royal Oak, Michigan. Now, this is a rather known crossing owned by the CN Holly subdivision, and this crossing features some rather epic equipment too, I have to say. And uh, some of y'all Michigan Rail fans may actually know about this crossing by now, but I decided to come down with the boys and tour it today, so yeah. And I guess with all that said, let's get on to it. So for the first signal, I mean, really, there's nothing else much to say beforehand. So for the first signal, this has a Siemens base. And here's the emergency formation and the dot tag and the dot number is 284276Y. And there used to be an older dot tag on this mask, but they removed it and repainted it. Yeah. And for the gate mechanism, this has a safe train gate mechanism, early 2000s generation, I believe, which has a pedestrian gate arm, as you can see, right on the side of it for an extra winding. And this features some Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard. Yep. And for the lights, this has two pairs of Safetran 12 by 24 inch Dialyte LEDs sitting on a Safetran light bracket, which I believe these replaced some 8 inch lights in the past, or if not 12 by 24 inch incandescent lights or whatever. And for the bell, this has a Safetran Type 1 electronic bell. Oh, oh, Pretty neat stuff. So. <laughs> So yeah, some of y'all may know that these are pretty rare in most areas, but around here in the Royal Oak area and also in the Holly area, but just generally by the Holly sub, they have a bunch of these, so that's pretty neat. So yeah, with all that said, let's go ahead and cross the street and tour this other signal right here, which is a pedestrian signal. But yeah, so here's the next signal. This one's somewhat similar to the other one. This has a safe tramp base, and here's emergency information once again. And for the gate mechanism, this has another safe train gate mechanism, early 2000s, I believe, with, with a uh, NEG LED gate light, as you can see, singular, since this is just blocks the sidewalk, which is pretty neat. And as you can see, there's the L and W tags on the uh, mounting bracket here. And for the lights, this has two more pairs of safe train 12 by 24 inch dialy LEDs sitting on a safe train light bracket. And for a bell, this has another safe train type 1 electronic bell. So, yeah, once again, another rare bell. So, I guess with all that said, let's go ahead and move on to the signals over there. But yeah, moving on, beside all the noise and whatnot, apologies. So yeah, so here's the next signal, which is somewhat similar. This one has a WRS base, and here's the emergency information once again. And once again, there used to be an older dot tag right here, but they removed it. And for the lights, this has two more pairs of Safetran 12 by 24 inch dialy LEDs sitting on a Safetran light bracket, which replaced some more incandescent lights in the past. I believe 8 inch lights or some, something like that. <laughs> yeah, and the gate mechanism, this has another safe train gate mechanism with an extra pedestrian arm on it, as you can see. And this features some more Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard. And for a bell, this has another safe train type 1 electronic bell. Uh, don't mind the wind. But yeah, pretty neat stuff. So let's go ahead and wait for these guys to pass and we'll move on to the final signal of this crossing. As you can see, it's a four signaled crossing. Two of them on pedestrians, two of them for the main road, which is pretty neat. I like the layout of this. So yeah, and here's the final signal, which is similar to that second one over there. This one has another Safetran base, and here's emergency information once again. And for the gate mechanism, this has once again another Safetran gate mechanism with the shorter gate arm on, well, the shorter gate on it, just like the one over there. And this one features one singular NEG gate light. Oh no, I'm not sure what kind of logo that is. Yeah, just, it's like that other one over there. It looked like an early NEG LED gate light. Not totally sure, but yeah. And for the lights, this has two more pairs of Safetran 12 by 24 inch Dialyte LEDs sitting on a Safetran light bracket. And for the bell, this has another Safetran Type 1 electronic bell. So that makes it four Safetran Type 1 e-bells all in one crossing, which is crazy. Yep, hence why this crossing is pretty, is, uh, pretty iconic to the crossing uh, signal community. So yeah, so this right here was 4th Street and... Um, Royal, Royal Oak, Michigan. Here's the relay case on the Holly sub sitting at milepost 12.94. So yeah, I guess with all that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the track view. Down there is, I'm sorry, down there is heading towards more crossings. As you can see, there's a pedestrian crossing that you got 6th Street and um, some others. I believe Washington Avenue is down there too. So yeah, this is heading uh, south towards, you know, those crossings that I just listed. So yeah, and down there is heading north towards Washington Avenue. I think it's, I know, I'm not sure this is like Washington Avenue, but yeah, it's something rather. And you can see we have two northbounds lined up. So only we only really uh, have a matter of time before those come or something. So yeah, so yeah. 
And with all that said, and as you can see, this base right here has a WRS logo on the back. So this base right here, little known fact, actually used to be a WRS base, but they somehow retrofitted a Siemens base plate on the front of it, which is weird. So yeah, I guess that is all the details of this crossing. So with that said, this was the 4th Street Railroad Crossing here in Royal Oak, Michigan. Pretty neat stuff. I'm about to get it in action here in a bit for y'all, so you get to see what it's like. So yep, I guess with all that said, over and out.